Hey, welcome to the Riggin Farm YouTube channel. I'm back up at the property. Yesterday I did a bunch of work with the grapple and I'm here to try to finish up that job. My main goal today is to finish cleaning up all of the logs, branches, and other debris from the hill that starts at the front of the property and goes up to our garden. I should be able to get that done within a few hours. I also need to put the box blade on and try to smooth out that area so we can have it ready to plant some of our perennials. Yesterday when I was up here, I was going up to the area where we're planning on putting our chickens and try to clean up that area. There was a lot of debris that needs to be cleaned up. We also need to box blade that area because it's very bumpy. And if we're gonna be pulling the tractor or anything else up there, we need it to be a little smoother. Last night I was telling Ashley what all I had gotten done at the property. And then I started to think to myself, what if we put the chickens somewhere else that's a little more accessible and will require less work? The first idea I had is to actually put them right over here by the front of the property. We have a bit of a clearing. I'm gonna go over there in just a moment and check it out. It'll be so much easier to get them set up there than if we were to take them all the way up that hill where it's kind of hard to get to right now. The Cooper building, we could probably actually pick it up with the tractor or the forklift and move it to another area if we ever need to down the road. All of the cleanup I did yesterday won't be done in vain because we can still put our pigs over there when we get those shortly after we move here. The infrastructure for the pigs will be a lot easier than the chickens because the pigs can be contained in just a small fence that has two electrical wires run across it because they're actually pretty smart and will stay away from that electric wire once they realize what it does when they hit it. The chickens, on the other hand, need a much more robust fencing system because they're more susceptible to predator attacks and they also really like to escape. So we need to have a fence that's at least six or seven feet high so that they don't escape. And it'll be a lot easier to do that in this more flat open area than in that heavily wooded and hilly area. All right, let's go take a look and see what we think. We have enough fencing for the chickens to have about two thirds of an acre of space. And this area over here is definitely wide open. There's definitely some branches and debris and everything over there that'll have to get cleaned up before we do that. But the chickens aren't really gonna be so worried about the landscaping, if there are tree stumps or anything else, they'll be perfectly fine with that. We didn't have any definitive plans with this area before contemplating whether or not to put the chickens here. We talked about maybe doing some garden space here, but honestly, once we get that other area cleaned up, we'll have several acres of garden space and that's probably all we're gonna need. Worst case scenario, this area is gonna be super fertile with all the chicken poo that accumulates over the years. So we can always move them somewhere else and then plant a garden here. It won't be a big deal. One idea that we had with the chicken fencing that'll help add some stability is using existing trees as fence posts. We have some really mature pines right here along the border of our property that could be excellent fence posts that won't be going anywhere anytime soon. We'll definitely have to supplement with some T-posts. We've been talking about either renting or buying an auger, and we would drill two to three foot deep holes, cut down some pretty decent sized trees, maybe about three or four inches in diameter, 10, 12 feet tall, and burying those in the ground and using those as fence posts as well. They would probably be more sturdy than T-posts, but the cost of the T-post would probably be less than the cost of renting or buying an auger. Definitely something to consider. There are quite a few smaller trees in this area, which is good because it'll provide the chickens with a little bit of shade and it'll also give them some protection against aerial predators. Hawks absolutely love eating chickens and they typically swoop in to get their prey. And if there are a lot of trees and other things in the way, they're less likely to do that. We're also planning on putting in some aerial protection anyway, probably in the form of some fishing line or something similar. We're gonna tie it across the trees and make almost like a web pattern, about maybe eight feet high, seven feet high, depending on how things go at least tall enough to where I'm not going to hit my head on it and that'll prevent anything from trying to get in and it'll get tangled and deter it and hopefully it'll work. If we can get some line that's kind of reflective in the light that'll actually help deter aerial predators. I think this will work. I really do. Like I said there's quite a bit of cleanup that'll be necessary. The reason for cleaning up this area wouldn't be for the chicken's sake it would actually be for ours because we want to be able to easily see the chickens. If they decide to lay eggs outside of the nest, it'll be pretty hard for us to find them amongst all this debris and branches and everything. Really, the only bad thing about having the chickens right here is that they'd be really close to the front of the property. And we're not sure we want that to be the first thing you see when you pull into our driveway. It would be past the entrance gate, so it's not like people driving by are necessarily gonna see them, but anybody who comes to visit definitely will. Comment below and let us know what you think. Do you think we should put our chickens in the front of the property where it's gonna be easier to build their fence and a little bit closer to the home to where we can access them? Let us know below in the comments what you think. Should we put our chickens here in the front of the property where it'll be a lot easier to get them set up, but they'll be closer to the entrance of the property and one of the first things you see while pulling up to the house? Or do you think we should have them in the back where we had originally planned, where it's gonna be much more difficult to get them set up, but they're a little more secluded? Something you may not be able to tell so easily from our videos, but the chickens here or in the original spot 
would be about the same distance from the road and about the same distance from our house. If anything, it'll be a lot easier for us if they're in the front of the property because we won't have to go up that hill. The more I think about it, the more I think we should put them up here. Let us know what you think. I think I'll get some drone footage of both potential areas. That way, not only will we get a chance to see and kind of contemplate and figure out what we want to do, but you can also have a better idea and give a more informed decision yourself. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the tractor and start cleaning up that hill now. Sure do love the morning dew that gets my pants soaked. While I was near, I decided to take a break and check on the bees. And I'm not seeing any kind of activity in the hive. I am very tempted to open it up and look, but you're not supposed to for at least a week. I still have about three days to go. I hope they're okay. So I took the ballast box off because I don't think I really need it. I swapped it out for the box blade so I can start cleaning up and smoothing some of the ground over here. I still have the grapple on, so if there's anything I need to pick up with it, it's already attached. The really great thing about this quick hitch system is I was able to take off the ballast box and get the box blade on without ever getting off of the tractor. It took me less than five minutes to remove and add the implements. It was great. Great purchase. Anyway, I need to get to work and get this place cleaned up. I've got my debris pile right here in a nice smooth area. Having this area smooth is actually gonna be pretty nice because we can set up a little canopy and picnic area so that we can have the kids up here while we're working on the garden and they'll be really close to us, at least for the next couple months before our house is ready and we're actually living here and they can just stay inside in the AC and not have to worry about being out here with us on the weekends.